Strombo was, uh, he was, he had a hell of a personality. And when he became an agent, he was just, oh, and he hated the honky tonk man. And honky hated him. <laughs> and, uh, oh my God. What was the, what was the animosity about then, do you think? Uh, he just didn't fucking like honky tonk man, you know? Not many people liked him. I always liked him. Uh, but now people like him, I guess. But he's so funny. Someone was talking to me the other day and said, I just can't get along with that guy. He says, well, I was just around him and he was a sweetheart. So he has one side. So I was in L.A. with him, right, for this big, huge uh, Russell Common, WrestleMania, all that shit last month. And he actually came up to me and he gave me a bunch of our rhythm of blues, 8 by 10 and maybe 50 of them, and he signed them for me. So he said, he'll take them out and sell. And I never do that. Um, I understand Beefcake used to have pictures of him and Hulk, and he'd sign Hulk's name. <laughs> <laughs> but at least Hulk, he came over and actually gave him his, his autograph. And everybody's autograph, you, you could tell it's a phony. Hulk, he's just see two H's, and it's not that good. Bruce Beefcake's got a great autograph. I have a great one. Um, so, who's who's is the easiest to forge? Then was it what was it? Hulk Hogan uh, was just H H. Yeah, I I I hate to think that forgery is going on, but um, you know, I, Beefcake don't do that anymore. No, good. No, I and I don't even know if he did it. It could have been just a rumor. Um, well, because him and Hogan, him and Hogan were they're not so much good friends now, but uh, but you know, they, they'll kiss and make up eventually. <laughs>